Right, good morning Year 1s and this is your Tuesday's Maths lesson and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be halving numbers, we're going to be halving amounts. So yesterday we were doubling and today we're going to be halving, okay, which is like the opposite of doubling. Now when you halve something, you divide it into two equal amounts, okay? So you split it, you share it into two equal amounts. Do you know what equal means? It means the same, okay? So you share it into two equal amounts that are the same, okay? Right, we're going to be halving fruits with these two lovely parrots today. So give these parrots a wave and we can start our maths lesson. Penny and Jenny are good friends. They collect fruit together. They like to be fair and take half of the fruit each. Oh, they're like us in year one. We like to be fair, don't we? They have collected four apples. How can they find half of four? Okay, so you've got four apples. How can you split it? in half, so each, so Penny and Jenny have the same amount, okay? What about, if I draw a line down there, and Penny gets three apples and Jenny gets one, is that fair? Yes or no? No, it's not, is it? Okay, so let's try again. What about if I give one apple to Jenny, one apple to Penny, one apple to Jenny, one apple to Penny. Is that fair? So they will have two apples each. Is that fair? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yes, well done. So shall we see? If we've done it correctly, so they have four apples all together, so they should have two apples each. Well done, Year Ones. There are two halves. Jenny and Penny each have one half. Right, now they have collected six pairs. So can we share six pairs into two halves? So can we share them equally? Okay, have a think. How could you share the six pairs? Shall we do it together? So I'm going to give one to Jenny, one to Penny. One to Jenny, one to Penny. One to Jenny and the last one to Penny. So how many will they have each? How many will they have each? Say it out loud. Three. Well done. Is that fair? Have they got the same amount? Super duper. They have three each. Right. Now they have collected two peaches. What is half of two? Always oh, peasy one year one. Say it out loud. What's half of two? Well done. Super. So Penny got one peach and Jenny got one peach. So half of two is one. Well done. Right now they've collected eight bananas. Eight bananas. Okay. Now we need to divide them into two equal groups. So I'm going to give one to Jenny, one to Penny. One to Jenny, one to Penny. One to Jenny, one to Penny, one to Jenny. And the last one to Penny. How many bananas have they got each? Do you know? What is half of eight? Let's have a look. It's four. Well done. Half of eight is four, super. And we know it's equal because they've both got the same amount. Penny's got four bananas and Jenny's got. 
Right, super duper listening year ones, well done. Right, so what I want you to do now is using objects in your home. So you might use spoons, Lego, you might have lots of coins, you might have lots of socks, you might have lots of hair grips and bubbles and things. Anything that you've got a lot of that are small, um, I want you to have a go at halving, okay? So I want you to get an amount, so you might get 10 socks or 12 socks, and I want you to practice halving them, okay? So practice dividing them into two equal groups. So sharing them, you can even pretend share them between Penny and Jenny, the two parrots, okay? That is what I want you to do. And when you feel confident, you can go on to a star job. Now, our one star job is looking at the apples, okay? So I want you to read each number and look at the apples. Can you halve each amount? You might want to draw the apples in your book to help you out and then cross out half of them, okay? So you might want to draw the apples and then I want you to write half of two is, and then write the answer. For your two star job, what I want you to do, if you can't print this out, that's absolutely fine, because what I need you to do is match the number, find the number, so find it, pick a yellow ball, and then find half of that number. And there's an example at the top of the worksheet for how to write it in your workbook. If you need to use things to help you, for example, if you don't know what half of 18 is and you need to get 18 Lego bricks or 18 cubes and then half 18 that way, that's absolutely fine. And your three star job today, year ones, is halving numbers using word problems. You might not get onto this job, you might just do a one star job, you might just decide to do a two star job, um, and that's absolutely fine. Don't worry as long as you're trying your best. You, but your three star job today is halving numbers with word problems, okay? So remember what we do when we have a word problem. For example, the top one, I have 12 apples and I split them into two baskets. How many are in each basket? So we read it once, we read it twice. You might want to draw the apples to help you and that's absolutely fine. Okay, so if you need to draw something to help you, um, then you can do that and then you need to write the answer. Half of 12 is and then write the answer there. Okay, super stuff year ones, well done.